So I'm going to replace a broken rubber gimbal mount on my DJI Mavic Mini. You can see here that the rubber mount is still connected, but one side of it is kind of broken. So it's, it's sort of two thin little loops that attach from the drone body itself to the gimbal assembly. And uh, the other side's fine. I'm going to see what the, the top two mounts are like as well. Uh, but in order to do that, I'm just going to use the screwdriver that came with the Flymore Combo to open up those four screws you see there. So we've got the four screws out, just in there. Just gonna keep them to one side. Here comes the fun bit. Just gonna get in underneath the top cover. Okay, so I managed to crack it there. And just using an old access card for the office. Won't be needing that anytime soon. And crack the top. And let's see if we can bring that all the way around. There you go. Easier than expected. And nothing broken, touch wood. Okay, so we've got the inside of that. You can see get that in focus the top two gimbal mounts are in good order but it's that bottom right one when you're looking at it from the front that I want to replace so I think easiest thing to do is possibly look at taking the whole assembly out So what I'm going to do, I guess, is just push these guys through. Little rubber mount just through the frame. Just using the little screwdriver. So actually, so far, I haven't needed to use anything special. And there you can see the broken mount. So that looks like it just connects on there. So replacements. I was going to do all four, but I actually think the others are looking fine. So I'm probably just going to do this one. Now, there's the two there. That's the new one. And. That's the old broken one. So maybe just that threads through and then you can cut it or something if you're so inclined. The new mount just slides onto the assembly pretty easily. Okay. So just got that gimbal piece on there. If you can see that, just easy to thread through. And then getting these mounts just back through here, probably just use a set of tweezers. And then just sort of push that through. So I just, there you go. Making sure it comes through and yep, so that is all good. And then the new one with the long bit there. Right, that is causing a little bit of a problem. Uh, just making it a little bit more difficult than it's really needed. So I'll probably just clip that. I 
Okay. So again, with the tweezers. Lovely. So that's the new one pulled through. Everything looking okay. And of course the top ones are still still fine, so I'm not gonna replace those ones. And yeah, to put it back together. Just got the cover. Snapped in. And time to get the screws back in. That's done and replaced. So all looking good. That little extra bit down there, it kind of came on the thing. I don't think it's really in the way of anything, so I'll probably just just leave it as it is. Um, and then maybe just do INU calibration and probably a compass calibration next time I take it out for a bit of a flight. So we'll see how it goes. And that's it, so pretty straightforward. All I needed was the screwdriver and uh, probably a pair of tweezers that you may or someone may have laying around the house.